Hello and good morning. Oh. <laughs> Are you all warmed up by now? <laughs> My name is Max Meischein and I'm very happy to welcome you to YEPSI Europe 2012 here in Frankfurt. I don't want to waste too much time, but I do want to tell you a bit about this conference and the schedule. And after that, it's the announcement for the next YEPSI venue. And then it's Larry. Well, the short overview. I want to tell you about the conference, about the schedule. Yeah, so, oh, this conference is organized by Frankfurt PM, the Frankfurt chapter of Pearl Mongers. And you can recognize us by our nice yellow shirts. So, yeah, uh, I don't know all Frankfurt. Well, no, there is one Frankfurt PM member in a yellow shirt, and I do see some other people in yellow shirts, but they are not Frankfurt PM <laughs> members. You can recognize us by this nice YEPSI logo as well. So, yes, if you have any questions, any problems, anything, come to us. We will try to help you. Yes, we have for this conference lots of nice things like printed proceedings, even if they are not as thick as we would have liked them to be because, well, not everybody sent in their talks in time for them to be printed, but, well, such is life. We also have the... Um, uh, recording two of our four tracks on video, so they will be available online. And we have access to the university wireless, and we have goodie bags, which all of you likely have gotten at the reception already. But yes, none of this really matters for a conference. Let me explain. This conference is the, the yeah, milestone or target point of one year of hard work and hard organizing. And um, yes, what I found during this year was that the most important thing is communication, is communication and even more communication. And while email works well for communication and even faxes work well for communication, there simply is nothing that beats talking in person to the people you want to reach an agreement with. At least if these people listen to you. <laughs> Talking in person has really low latency and this means you can really fast get clarification on open issues and th uh, other things. And one thing that geeks like me often neglect is you have a shared emotional context for example, we didn't have enough access um, logins for the wireless. And while I could have written the people an email, nothing conveys the sheer terror and panic better <laughs> than calling people on the phone and telling them, I need, I need, I really do need these wireless accounts. And yeah, of course, they gave us the wireless accounts, so everybody should be able to access the wireless. So what can we as organizers do to make the conference a success for you? We provide the structure for you to get talking among, among each other, to provide you with inspiration and topics to talk about. Yeah, so to kick off the days, we do have keynotes. We have today Larry Wall. Tomorrow it will be Curtis poll and the closing keynote will be by Matt Trout on Wednesday. After the keynotes we have lots and lots of talks in four tracks and all the tracks are synchronized so you can switch between tracks at any time and we have allocated breaks of 10 minutes between the talks so there is no running because in this heat running is not healthy <laughs> and at least the last knowledge i have is we have two slots of 20 minutes on friday still free so 
uh, oh, on the last day of this, <laughs> on, the, uh, on the last day of this work week, we do have um, <laughs> 22 uh, slots still free. So if you think you have a talk that can be ready by then, come talk to us. Unfortunately, the talk about Arduino, um, yeah, the speaker couldn't come, so that freed up the talk. We do have coffee breaks, one in the morning and one in the afternoon. I hope you already got your hot steaming coffee. <laughs> we also have water and fruit juice, so yeah, I guess that's more appropriate. For the lunch break, you can, we have allocated like 80 or 90 minutes. You can go into the Mensa on the campus. Um, yeah, you can pay there with cash. They, normally they only take the student card or whatever, but they are also are prepared to take cash, I'm told. And there are lots and lots of restaurants, small restaurants here in the vicinity because this is a student area. So yeah, there should be something for about every taste. There is also the Cafe Extra Blood, which many of you already know from yesterday. This is also a five minute walk from here and they have lots of places. No air conditioning though. <laughs> but yes, so you should be set for your lunch as well. Yeah, this is the way you need to take to get to the Mensa. It's not really long. For this evening, to give you a place to unwind a bit and to talk even more among each other, we have organized a social event in Sachsenhausen, an old part of the city. In the Depot 1899, a restaurant. And yeah, we have arranged a bus transfer to there. It's like 10 minutes by bus, but yeah, well, it's better to take the bus. And um, you can also get there by tram or even walk if you are into walking in the searing heat. It takes like 40 minutes to walk and the tram takes like 20 minutes, so it's not really far away. The bus will leave here at 18.30 and the event starts at 7 p.m. So yeah, be here at 18.30, well, be at the bus station at 18.30, but um, I will tell you in the afternoon how to get from here to the bus station. It's the one with the crashed subway entrance. Um, yeah, I will show you that at the closing session for today. Um, yeah, to get back from the social event, we have shuttle buses starting at 10 p.m. going until 11 p.m. and you can also go directly from the venue to your hotel depending on which is closer. Yes, um, if you brought any of your spouses, they also can, of course, come to the social event. Just tell us at the registration and we tell you how to pay the 30 euro. Yeah, there were some questions about the logo, especially the glass of apple wine, which this is supposed to be. <laughs> it looks a bit like this skyscraper, which is maybe a co coincidence, but maybe not. But it is really a glass of apple wine, and you will also get a glass of apple wine at the social event, so maybe you recognize then the glass and the logo. Yes, organizing such a conference, it is surprisingly hard work, but it would be impossible without our sponsors. So let me just list them for you. We have Xing, Booking.com, cPanel, DuckDuckGo, Foo Magazine, Net-A-Porter, United Domains, and Igentic, Sipwise, WebFusion, Petamem, Urbia.de, Ivozon, and the Yepsi Europe Foundation, and also O'Reilly and Findus sponsoring this conference. Please give them a hand because without them,
yeah, without their support, it would be impossible to hold this conference. Yes, that's it from me. I hope you have fun at this conference and talk to each other and, of course, listen to what others have to say. So, yeah, that's it. Thank you. And now, next up is the announcement of next year's YAPSI venue. Thank you. Hello. Uh, every year, the organizers to be work very hard on making uh, good proposals to host next YAPS Europe. And after that, uh, we at the venue committee of YAPS Europe Foundation, as well as the board of the YAPS Europe Foundation, work very hard. And sometimes it is a hard job to select uh, the best candidate out of submitted proposals, right? And this year, uh, we had a especially difficult job. Uh, we had to select between uh, just one proposal. Uh, and this job was so difficult that the final decision was only made basically this morning. Uh, but uh, I'm happy to announce that YAPS Europe 2013 will happen in Kiev, Ukraine. Right, and as, as usual, uh, YAPS Europe Foundation will be providing a kickstart, a kickstart donation of uh, 1,000 euros. Uh, usually we have this big paper check thing, but it got lost in the mail this year. Uh, um, so, and on the last day of the conference, there will be a presentation from Kiev to talk a little bit more about the venue next year and to have a little something for the Frankfurt organizers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Anton. And yeah, that's it with the announcements for today. And now I'm very